So now let me step into the undo brush. And so what it starts with is the current image. And then what I can do is I can use this brush now to paint the undo image onto the current image. And so you can see that what it does is it lets me use this brush to put the undo image, which is the original image, onto this image. And so you can see I've just painted in everything but the train. So now the train is in black and white. But what I really wanted to do is I wanted to paint in the train. And so I can do that as well. What I can also do is if I say fill with undo brush, for example, it reverses it. Now I'm looking at the original image which is kind of, it's swapped now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting on the current image onto the undo image. And so it just basically reverses the order. So now what I can do, if I use the brush, you can see it takes the original image and then I can paint in just the parts I wanted. Let's say for example, I just wanted to make the trees black and white. Well, I can say fill with undo brush, uh, undo buffer, and then I can just paint, uh, paint the trees black and white because I'm just applying my effect, which was to make it black and white onto the image that I created. And so you can see that I can basically go ahead and do that and then play around with it and do quite a few different things, which looks pretty interesting. So it's, it's an interesting effect in pictures a lot where if you just subdue certain colors, it can really add kind of a mixture of a color picture and a black and white picture, which I think is really what's going on here. Since I'm really just subduing these, these bright yellows, it's making a very very interesting picture. But let's get back to what I originally intended, which was I just wanted to paint in the train. And what I can do is I can use a higher hardness and pressure value to paint it in even even more quickly. So you can see that when I do that, it uh, does it more quickly. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is to just paint the train in. And then as you can see, I'm going outside of the lines on the train, and which is okay because I can use a button to go back and forth. Let's say it went all the way out in, into the trees, what I can do is I can say subtract undo and what it does is it reverses it. And so I can just do this all day. In fact, I can even zoom in and inspect my work. And what you can see is there's some color in here that I really just want to get rid of and I can change the brush size. It's the same sort of thing as with the other uh, tools, the dodge and burn and cloning and, and so forth. And so you can see that I'm them able to, to just really get in there and do what I want. And so let's go ahead and just accept that. I think I can see an area that I messed up on there. Uh, typically it's not critical as long as it blends well, as long as you don't really have high edges. Uh, the default values with the hardest pressure really allows it to blend in a little bit better than with, with higher values. And so you can see that even though I went over the lines here, it blends in so smoothly, it doesn't really matter too much, but I can also fix that as well. And so, so there's a very basic application of the undo brush. And really what I'm showing is, is that you can use the masking for lots of things and you can use other tools. And in fact, in this particular example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use only the undo brush when maybe I could use other things like vignetting and that sort of thing. But to show the power of the undo brush and how integral it can be to your process, I'm just going to go ahead and do that here. As you can see, it gets very subtle. In fact, I can see that what I did was is I accidentally left a whole area in here. There we go. So a bit, this one's a little subtle because the colors are subtle. You know, what you can do too is that while you're working with the image, this is the current image called the working image. You can always compare it to the original image, but you can look at the current image, which will be the black and white, and you can look at the undo image, which will be the original image that we had. And so you can compare the two images with the image that you're creating. This is the blend of the two images, and then I can look and see. So for example, if I left some color in there and I'm not exactly sure what's, what's going on, I can, I can check the current and undo image and see that uh, compared to the working image that I, I still have some color in there. And it's a good thing to do is a kind of a reality check to see how you're doing with your image. So anyway, so that's what I wanted with this image. So let me press accept. So with this particular image, I don't really have any sort of plan. I'm just uh, doing it as I go. And so what I want to do here maybe is to potentially add some contrast. Typically when you take out color adding contrast can be a, can be a good idea. So you can see already that looks very nice actually. And so maybe what I want to do is with these, uh, maybe I want to go a little bit of color with the black and white area. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and, and add some color there and 
And so you can see that we're getting an interesting thing going on. And then again, I can use undo brush to just undo the train to keep the, the color of the train. Ah, see, that looks nice. And then let's go ahead and keep that. 